What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll compare a safety squat bar to a standard straight Olympic barbell for doing squats. After three months of use, I'll go through all the pros and cons to help you decide if it's a good option for you. But I'll tell you right now, it's a game changer if you're experiencing any joint pain. To get started, I ordered the Titan V2 safety squat bar. I watched several reviews comparing different safety squat bars and the verdict was that this is just as good as the other bars, or better, at a fraction of the cost. And I personally have no regrets ordering this one. I recommend it. First, let's quickly unbox it. Then we will get into the comparison with the straight barbell and the benefits. It's a pretty long box. I'm six foot one, and this is how I stack up to it. So it's about seven feet long. Opening the box, everything was well packaged with no damage, no complaints. Taking a close look, there is a one-piece bar with the shoulder rests and the pad installed, and also two loose handles. The handles have threaded rods on the ends, with rubber caps to protect the threads. Just remove the protective caps, screw the handles into the bar, nice and snug, and assembly is complete. And here's a quick overall look of the assembled bar. It's a solid steel bar with a pad and a nice cover, and the handles are threaded in. I was pretty excited, so I tried it out right there. I couldn't help myself. My very first impressions are that it is comfortable, and it's well balanced. Trying a couple squats, still very comfortable. I'm pumped. Let's bring it into the gym and do a proper review. And three months later, here we are in the Rise of Iron Gym. First, let's compare the shape of the two bars. I have the safety squat bar and the barbell right next to each other, with the barbell on top and the safety squat bar on the bottom. The barbell is straight, and the sleeve ends rotate, and the bar weighs 45 pounds. The safety squat bar is not straight. It drops down at the ends, and it is solid. The ends do not rotate. The center is padded with handles, and the advertised weight is 61 pounds, but I just call it 60. It is also longer than the barbell. The ends of the safety squat bar are about two and a half inches longer than the barbell. Now let's get into some squats. First, we have the barbell back squat. If you have an injury or you're just not that flexible, reaching back like this can be uncomfortable or even painful on your shoulders, elbows, and wrists. It can also be brutal on the chest, stretching it out like that when squatting after chest day. Another option is the barbell front squat. This can be pretty extreme on the wrists, especially if you're not flexible. It can also bother the elbows and the shoulders as well. It would be logical to assume that these elbow sleeves and wrist wraps are for some bench press or something like that, but no. I used to gear up with this stuff for back squats. As a younger man, I pushed through any physical task and my body pretty much held up. These days, I am limited by elbow pain and wrist pain with squats. Now let's bring out the safety squat bar. This is my barbell squat position and my safety squat bar is another notch up. There's a pad on the bar and it sits higher on your back when you're using it, so you'll probably need to raise your J hooks. The handles in the front keep the shoulder, elbow, and wrist joints in a comfortable neutral position. I will point out that the bar is very well balanced, and technically, you can do squats with no hands at all. I would not recommend it for safety reasons, but you can do it. And this is the huge benefit that the safety squat bar offers. It keeps the shoulders and arms in a comfortable stress-free position. This has allowed me to get back into squats, pain-free without the use of sleeves or wraps. In addition, the new center of gravity keeps the spine in a more vertical position, which seems to be safer for the lower back. This more vertical position also allows me to get more depth more comfortably. The differences were noticed immediately. I feel like I noticed that the safety squat bar loaded the quads up more, but it's been a while since the transition and I have not used the barbell at all and I don't ever plan to use it again. I'm squatting pain free. Next, let's ram through a quick workout and check out the pad. 
First, warm up with the bar, then 10 reps with 150 pounds, then 10 reps with 200 pounds, then 10 reps with 240 pounds. So, we did a little bit of work. I'm just wearing a t-shirt. I do not have to wear sweatshirts or towels on my back. And there is not a red or bloody barbell mark on my back. The pad is comfortable, and it doesn't leave a mark. It's just a little bit red, but that'll be gone in no time. And that covers the major functional aspects. Here's a few more items with three months of use. If you are using headphones, it's no problem with the barbell. You just rack it and get out. However, the handles on the safety squat bar will knock your headphones off. No. But with three months of use, I can slip in and out without knocking the headphones off. And here we go. Whoop. Yeah. And last is storage. I had some concerns about where to store this because it's so large. Prior to purchasing this, I just left the barbell inside of the cage and move it around depending on what exercise I'm doing. Barbell squats or bench press or deadlifts. And there is a dedicated set of J-hooks for bench press and squats. This was a great system because I don't have a lot of room to remove the barbell and store it elsewhere. Fortunately, I was able to find a great storage location inside the cage. I added another set of hooks at the top rear and pivot the handles backwards against the cage support bar so the handles are pointing up and away outside of the cage. Surprisingly, I was able to continue to just leave the barbell and the safety squat bar inside of the cage. With the safety squat bar at the top rotated back like that, this allows room for everything else with no issues. Bench press, deadlifts, pulley system, pull-ups, and curls in the squat rack. The safety squat bar is not in the way. When I do squats, I move the safety squat bar to the front, then ram out an impressive workout. Wow, very impressive. Then put it back when I'm done. And I think that covers it. The safety squat bar provides safe and comfortable squats. This was an absolute game changer for me because the barbell squats resulted in elbow pain. The bar was absolutely worth it and I highly recommend it. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Leave your experience in the comments below. Subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Slip out.